In the mountains, morning begins with clouds and views of a peaceful Connecticut River. If you're looking for some action this time of day, head over the bridge to Lewes in nearby Hanover, New Hampshire. And the problem is, you may not get a seat. We breakfast and lunch. We do breakfast all day from 6 to 3. Craig Morley is manager at Lou's, a staple here on Main Street since 1957. You know, good service and, and great food. But then there's also the bakery. We're baking every night donuts and crullers and muffins and pastries and things. Pies are always flying out of here. Whether college students or politicians, if you're meeting up with anyone around here, you're going to be at Lou's. They're going to come to Hanover. They're going to come to Lou's. To Portsmouth, New Hampshire now, and a hidden gem. Gillies is one of those quintessential places. It's what Americana is made of. Steve Kennedy and his wife Gina are the present day owners of Gillies Diner, where the history goes back over a century. In 1974, the city of Portsmouth found a permanent location for the diner, named for legendary longtime former employee, Ralph Gilly Gilbert. As ever here, it's no frills, Hamburgers and hot dogs, and clearly, no complaints. The hot dogs are great, the hamburgers are great. I mean, what do you want? It's a diner. I love it. How long have you been coming to Gillies? Well, you know, since 1971. So that's a long time ago. <laughs> that's and a lot of hot dogs. <laughs> it's not that nothing has ever changed here. Consider the fry later. We never had french fries, even though it's a burger joint. People told me that Gilly wouldn't be happy, and I said, look, I have to do what's gonna keep us in business for another 80 years. And who wouldn't raise another dog to that? There's your dog. Only perfect. Now to Newton, Massachusetts, and an Arbondale landmark in its own right. The Knotty Pine dates back to the 1930s. The Cordes family has owned the luncheonette for nearly 40 years. Meet Mama Tula. People come here and they stay like three hours sometimes. They go home and they come back for coffee. <laughs> Tula's sons, Nick and Billy, say customers bond over everything from the weather to politics here, but sports pretty much dominates the conversation. Definitely a sports diner. And we did it by accident, to tell you the truth. We came in, we definitely were sports people. We liked watching sports back in the day with the Larry Bird era and all that nonsense. And we just started just yelling back and forth, you know, he stinks, he's good, he's terrible, blah, blah, blah. And all of a sudden, it's the whole place is involved, right. but it brings people together. Absolutely. It's a common language, right? right? And, Especially in Boston. And Absolutely. And our, family, right? and our family style, of just being so close, yeah. has become more of a family diner, too. So, like, 90% of our customers are regulars. The regulars stop in for breakfast staples, including pancakes or the bacon and egg cheese sandwich with home fries. The turkey club with crinkle fries is the best seller at lunchtime. We right? try to keep it old school, though. The brothers attempted to change or expand the popular breakfast and lunch joint, but they know better than to tinker with the knotty pine charm. That's the original countertop, and you can see where the elbows go, it's kind of worn, worn. So like we match these here. tables to the original countertop. A cloudy Cape Cod morning. Not the best beach day, but perfect conditions for a leisurely big breakfast in Yarmouth. They have yummy pancakes. The Pancake Man helping Cape Codders start the day since 1961. Marshall Farley, the owner and current Pancake Man, is very proud to hold the title. The place has been here, you know, close to 60 years. I've been here close to 45. For the Pancake Man, part of the fun is creating creative concoctions. The pancake possibilities are endless, like the peanut butter cup, an offshoot to the traditional chocolate chip. This stack is swirled with cinnamon, brown sugar, and butter, appropriately named the Sinful. A little more healthier options include the cranberry nut and the tried and true wild Maine blueberry, a top seller, Natch. Not much has changed since the Pancake Man first arrived on the Cape. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Including the restaurant's 30-year-old jingle. Join us for breakfast at the Still not ready to start the day? Well, you could head over to Dennis, where you can turn that morning frown upside down at Grumpy's, a family collaboration for nearly 30 years. With James Manning at the helm, his mother, Lorraine, came up with the catchy name. So I'm like, Mom, what are we going to call it? And she's like, we'll call it Grumpy's. And I'm like, bingo. And she knows, it was after my dad, I guess. Right. 
The menu ranges from the Chocolate Joy pancakes, a combination of chocolate chips, walnuts, and coconut, to massive omelets. Our omelets are huge. They're too big. I can't even eat them. Customers also flock for the huge portions of waffles and French toast. We have an extensive French toast menu, stuffed berry French toast, which is French toast with a sweet cream cheese filling, strawberries and blueberries. That's really popular. For his part, Manning recommends the hash. We sell a tremendous amount of that. The hash is part of the Irish Eggs Benedict, and Grumpy's serves up an Italian version as well. We have an eggplant Benedict, fried eggplant, roasted red peppers, and spinach. You're not going to leave hungry, that's for sure. Happiness is Grumpy's recipe for success. Happy customers, good food, and hard work by the whole Grumpy family. As he said, no one's leaving hungry from mm -hmm. there. All right, well, back to Gillies. Before it got a permanent location in 1974, it used to park every night in Portsmouth's Market Square, oh. and it was first pulled by a horse, then a tractor, <laughs> and then finally a truck. Nice long legacy. As for Lou's in Hanover, actually started by a World War II vet, began as half diner, half donut mm -hmm. shop, actually, mm -hmm. and it is a big favorite of the Dartmouth College crowd, as you might imagine. Of course. Mm -hmm. All right, coming up, not your typical omelet.